Bridge to go. Mm -hmm. Second to Dr. Zeno, Deacon's Ministry of Music, yes. Mother Green, mm -hmm. and everyone here. Today we are celebrating our 80th year church. And we are only able to celebrate 80 years because the church is built on a solid foundation. And that solid foundation is Jesus the Christ. Yeah. Our chief and our cornerstone. And the church is still standing. 80 years later. Started off with Reverend Jones. He had to be preaching the word of God or the church wouldn't have stood. And after his assignment was over, then it was Dr. Renee Pope who had to be preaching God's word and standing on the solid foundation of the church wouldn't be standing today. Yeah. And then there was my father, Dr. Green. Amen. Who had to be uh, and standing on a solid foundation. Amen. And now his son. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And we still will stand there. Because he's standing on Jesus. As I looked at our theme today, our theme is God's preeminence. In other words, God is superior over all things. Not just something, but he's superior over all things. If your house is not built on a solid foundation, I come to tell you today that your house can't stay. If your faith is not built on a solid foundation, your faith is going to fail. If your trust and your belief is not on a solid foundation, yeah. then your living is in vain. Right. God's preeminence is started with God. Yeah, and it's going to end with God. Yeah, Our scripture text today comes from the book of Colossians. If you have your Bibles with you, Today, let's turn to Colossians, the first chapter. We're going to look at verse 15 through 18. Colossians, the first chapter, verses 15 through 18. You found it, will you please respond by saying, Amen? And it reads up. And say, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. That in all things he might have the preeminence. God's word is already blessed. You may be seated at a bow here. Thank you, Lord. Dear Paul, I just want to say thank you right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your many blessings. Thank you for your tender mercy. Dear God, I ask that you plot out our transgressions. Forgive us of our sins. Clean our hearts right now. 
and creating us right this spirit. Dear God, I pray right now that you use me as an instrument of thy divine will. Yes, yes. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. 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 This is a letter to the Colossian Church from the Apostle Paul. After Paul's conversion, Paul loved Jesus Christ so much. Paul was sold out on Jesus Christ. Paul wrote this letter even from prison because Paul was concerned about the church. The purpose of Paul's letter was to combat heresy, false teaching and error, and things that were leading people down the wrong path. Paul made sure that the church was built on Jesus. Amen. Was built on Jesus' teaching. Was built on Jesus' work. Amen. People back then, a lot of people believed in God, but they didn't believe in Jesus. The Bible says that Jesus came unto his own and his own received him not. They didn't accept him. Which was bad on their part because if they didn't accept Jesus, they didn't accept the one that sent him. God was the one that sent Jesus into a world of dark. A world that was headed to a damnation. Say Lord to Jesus. A lot of them thought that Jesus was just another man, an average man or a dumb prophet. They didn't know who Jesus actually was. And there are still people today that don't believe in Jesus. Yeah. Today we want to talk on the subject of Jesus is the supreme ruler over all. Jesus is the supreme ruler over all. I didn't say that he was over some things, but I come to tell you today that he's over all things. He is the chief and call of salt, the author and the finisher of our faith. The very one or the very foundation that the church is built on. That's why we are able to be here for 80 years because the church was built on a solid foundation. John 1 and 3 says all things were made by him and without him nothing was made that was made. So if Jesus made all things that he has authority over all things. Against it. That's why the church is 
for the church. Uh, yes, yeah. yeah. yeah, still standing today. And go on, please right. stand. Paul says in verse 15, Paul says, who is the image of the invisible God? The firstborn of every creature. Jesus Christ is the very manifestation of God. He is actually God in the flesh. He is the one that came down. There's nobody like Jesus. Jesus is superior over all. Jesus is in the likeness of God, the very expression of God. Philippians 2 and 6 says, Who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal to God. Because he knew that he was God, but he was just a manifestation of God that he came down into the flesh. John 10 and 30, just to clear it up for you, he said, I am the Father, we all want. Jesus is the firstborn of every creature, which means that he's over all creation. Everything that was made was made by him. He created everything. All God had to do was speak. And as God spoke, Jesus created. And without him, nothing was made. That is him. That visible or invisible. He is the superior ruler over Foundation. 
position in which the church is built. Yeah, Jesus is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead. Jesus is the only one that died. Yeah, they had some people back in the day that was raised from the dead, but they still sleep now. Jesus was the only one that gave his life, that laid down for three days, died, and then rose again, and he's alive forevermore. He rose under his own power.
motion has been seconded. I now make the Diana Bell thank the full record number three. Thank you, Diana. Amen. Lord, it's good. You still added to the church. Amen. Amen. But guess what? When you get bricks to put on your house, you got to come from somewhere. Amen. What you have, brother Shane, and you have some Well, um, on Wednesday night, I had a nephew, he got shot two times in the door in the And when they got to the hospital, they were able to pull the two bullets out of his system. So I feel better. So I need some extra, extra prayers for my nephew. Amen. Amen. 